How's it going, bros? It's your boy, Dark Tome, here again with a brand new replay video slash deck profile, I guess. I wanted to basically rip off lithium, so I'm trying a little something new here with the uh, way I structure my videos. So, I'm going to show you guys a deck profile first, then I'm going to play some replays with commentary, because DZ said we don't need more replays with no commentary, and he is Jesus, so I'm just going to do whatever he says. So, Fur Hire, formerly known as Skyfang, I am now a furry because of this deck, as you can tell by the intro. Fur Hire is a very interesting deck, in my opinion. Uh, I think that a lot of its pure strength comes from the boss monsters, but they're not exactly as good as you'd think. The deck can set up some nasty fields turn 1 with the Golden Castle of Stromberg over here. Because thanks to cards like Iron Hans and uh, Iron Knight, you're able to turbo out, uh, turbo out Isodle. And then you can summon Beat straight from your deck by sending, which you're usually going to be sending at least, is a Cursed Bamboo Sword, Phoenix Blade, and Moon Mirror Shield. And you can just keep on going through plays through there, get some negates on board, go for a full effect skull beat, yada yada yada. So, yeah, we're playing two of each of the boss monsters here. Uh, I guess his name is Rafarl now or something. We're playing Wiz. Uh, we are playing one Blavo, just because he's kind of bad, but we need him for extensions. Two Iron Knight, because Bricks, hello. Uh, three Seal, he's your recovery. 3 Glyph, it searches you your Golden Castle of Stromberg. Iron Hans, I kind of want to cut down to 2 in this deck, but I don't really see a need to, because if you have Golden Castle in this in your hand, you can keep going with your plays like normal. So, yeah, it's not exactly a brick, but you just need one other card to make it work. Uh, you do have 3 Beat in the deck, this is like your best mo uh, normal monster, I guess. It searches you uh, whenever you summon another Skyfang. Uh, Helmer discards a card and draws a card, 3 Ash Blossom, and then 2 Donpa, because this is the one that pops face up cards. You got a Rhoda, uh, 1 Terraforming, 3 ba uh, Golden Bamboo, 1 Moon Mirror, 1 Divine Sword Phoenix Blade, 2 Broken Bamboo, 2 Cursed Bamboo, and then 3 Stromberg. Your extra deck is actually kind of neat. Uh, you got one Black Rose in here and one Dawn Dragster because you can make this by... If you have a level 4 on your field and then you use Skullteeth's effect to summon, like, Ash Blossom, you can go into a level 7 Synchro, and I think that's pretty heckin' neato. You are playing the one, uh, Baguska, the one Breaksword, and the one Gossip Shadow. Gossip sh uh, Shadow can actually be really nice. I made it in one of these replays, and he actually uh, negated a Curious... And we both just drew a card, and yeah, I, I feel like Gossip's a lot better than people are letting him on to be. Of course, there's some random Link 4s, uh, Topologic, Boreload, Firewall. We are playing Skull Eat, and that's probably one of the best cards in this deck, just because it's so easy to make Skull Eat in this deck, so. We are running him. Uh, the one Trisbana, uh, none of the Link 3s really ever came up. Uh, you don't really need them. A uh, 2 I sold or I Isodl, I don't even know at this point. Uh, it's just for your Golden Castle of Stromberg. And then the one, uh, underclock Tiger, because who really cares? Anyways, uh, let's get on to the replays. Starting off with replay one, we have Fur Hire versus Trickstar. Uh, Trickstar's a pretty, like, staple deck in Yamagio Pro, in all honesty. You go set two paths with the Cambina. Not really much you can do there. Reincarnation, banish my stuff, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Uh, we summon Iron Han from deck. Iron Han gets us, uh... Knight, we go into our soul. that searches the Hans because we can shuffle that back with uh, Skuldy instead of like shuffling back what we drew. Uh, he's got Twin Twisters or Broken Bamboo. It really sucks that that happens, but it doesn't really matter too much in the end because we are going to keep on summoning monsters. We're going to keep on getting effects off. Dante summons Lafarl. We get a pop on the Candina, and then we get to excavate a few, add one of those to our hand. Uh, we add the Helmer. Uh, Skuldy goes off. They summon back, uh, what's her face? Uh, we do draw a few, shuffle back our bricks, we got ourselves another golden castle. 
Our hand is looking pretty nice right now. We do have a negate, which we are going to use Lafarl to. Uh, but I'm not really worried about anything, because if he top decks something, it won't be that game changing. But he does have uh, top deck terraforming, which gets him to light stage, which does get him to Gandina, which gets him to Lily Bell, which then he summons Lily Bell, attacks us directly. I think he adds back. Yeah, he adds back the other Candina. And then he just goes Hall the Angel Pass. Uh huh. He's gonna get punished for this, to say the least. Uh, we summon Iron Hans, Iron Hans summons a Knight, and I'm sure you can see where this is going. Yep, Borload. <laughs> uh, we use Borload to take Holly Angel, and then we attack for game. So replay 2 here, we have Rocket versus uh, for Hire. This is not going to be our greatest opening board that we make in the deck, but we do have a Lafarl that can't really be dealt with in battle, and he does have a Monster Negate live. So... He is going to go for the heretic, uh, the heretic Link and then set one card. Uh, it is Tactical X Chamber, which I think is pretty good in Rockets. I don't know about anyone else, though. We go for Isalde. Uh, she searches us the dude. We go three for Beat. We get a search. Beat summons our Donpa. Beat searches us a card. Donpa summons Helmer. We are going to go for another Skeldy. We shuffle some stuff back. They try to destroy our... or not destroy. They try to bounce our thing. Uh, they just summon a rocket from the deck, doesn't really matter. We draw some cards, summon Ash Blossom, we activate Curse, we go into Dawn Dragster, Curse is going to search us for a Golden Bamboo, and we go Terraforming for Stromberg, and yeah, he just scoops at that point. So our next replay is against Cleefort. Uh, in all honesty, I was actually pretty scared of Cleefort when I saw what the deck uh, got back off that ban list a couple, uh, I guess, months ago. And I was going to make a video about it, but... I didn't get the chance to. All my footage uh, got corrupted for that, so unfortunately I don't really get that chance. Uh, we do get to summon some Sky Fangs, you know, get some effects off. We go for a full effect Skeldy. That summons a Lafarl from our hand. We set a Stromberg to avoid that Desire's cost, and then we pass. Uh, we are going to negate the first summoner's art, but he does have another, so he gets to a Scout. He activates Monolith, Scout, Cosmic Cyclone on the Stromberg. Uh, he's going to search for your Sacrifice. And then he uh, summons Shell, because of the Sacrifice, and passes. Yeah, that's the kind of IQ Clee 4 players have nowadays. Uh, so, we are getting uh, just some normal stuff uh, going on. That's going to summon Donta. Donta summons Lafarl. Donta's uh, popping Scout, and then Lafarl adds us a card. Uh, we do just make a couple of the cards. Borload here. We're going to take their Shell with the attack on it, and then he just... The last replay is against Cosmo, and we basically pop off in this one, I believe. Uh, we go Hans, summon Knight, that gets us by Salde. That searches us another Hans, so we can shuffle it back. We summon Beat from deck, uh, Curse gets us uh, Golden, we draw some cards, we draw some more cards, Beat some Helmer. Uh, that gets us to our Seal, a discard to Lafarl, summon Wiz, we have a Negate, we go to the next thing, then we have a full effect Skaldi, so... We're going to use Curse to add us another Golden. Uh, draws us some more cards. We summon Lafarl. Uh, Lafarl's effect goes off. We have to add Knight to our hand, unfortunately. Uh, that vanishes some stuff. Then we discard a bunch during the end phase. So we have three Negates live right now. A Spell and Trap Negate, a Monster Negate, and a Search Negate. So he summons Store Troopers and passes. I think he set Cosmojo. No, he set Call. 
Uh, so that negates door troopers. That's gonna summon a Glee from the deck. Skull Deep, uh, gains Glee attack, and then Glee pops the back row, and he just, uh, scoops on that. So that is basically, uh, just some of the things you can do with this deck. Uh, it's kinda stupid. Unfortunately, once Dark Saviors comes out, uh, Golden Castle of Stromberg won't be in the TCG, so... You can't play this variant automatically, but I feel like this is going to be probably the best variant of the deck since Beat is your best, like, starter. And this deck makes it so easy to get to Beat. Like, Stromberg, just turbo out, uh, the turba, turbo out Beat, and then you summon Lafarl, uh, you know, just do all your biz. Just... It's so easy to just combo off in this deck, and I think that's a very good positive about uh, Skyfang. There are some things I'd like to change, like maybe put Iron Hans down to a 2 of, or Iron Knight down to a 1 of, but the problem is, if you draw Iron Knight, you lose in that scenario. So, no, let me, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm very conflicted on this deck. There are some things I might change around, but as of right now, this is just what I've whipped up, and I feel like this is going to be a very good basis for a lot of you guys to run your decks on. So, hope you enjoy this furry agenda video. Uh, you know, like the video or whatever, sub to me. I'm a poor African child or whatever, and I'm going to die in the next 20 seconds if you don't smash that like button. Ah! Whatever, just uh, hope you had a good day. Uh, I would scream for an outro, but I'm really not feeling it today. Bye!